Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on this channel and today we're going to be going over how to quickly and most best way in my opinion to go and make $1,000 on a brand new eBay dropshipping store. So for those who have never done it before or it's your first time doing it, I'm going to show you the method that I would do if I were to make a new account or if I had to start again from scratch to quickly and easily make my first $1,000. So this can work no matter what marketplace you're selling from. I'm going to show you on Australia just because I primarily sell on eBay Australia. But this method works across all marketplaces no matter where you're from. So the first thing that I typically like to do is, first of all, you got to know the common suppliers in your country. Um, in Australia, there are a whole range. Um, but what's probably the most universal is Amazon. So from Amazon, what I like to do is find something that looks like it's um, being sold a lot and in demand, and then I find that on eBay, and then I track sellers through that. So first of all, just to give an overview, we're not going to be manually listing products, especially at the start. Right now, you want to find products that are going to sell because there's no point wasting your 40 insertions that you have for free, or if you don't open a store, you only can list up the 40 items. So you do not want to waste those 40 on something that will not sell. So that's why I don't recommend actually listing items directly from Amazon. Unless you're gonna go open a store, you can go experiment, find items yourself. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to find profitable accounts to snipe from. So we're just gonna find something. I like to go in toys and games. I feel like that's one of the most profitable niches, um, especially here in Australia. And we're just gonna go up to the best sellers. From here, we can literally, from here we can literally just take the first one. If it's a top seller, we know that both people, like customers, are buying this, and people are going to be dropshipping it and getting sales towards it. So as you can see, it costs eighty nine dollars, and we've already got one person selling it for one hundred eighteen. After fees, depending on what the store they are, they may probably making about fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, they are sponsored, so they might be paying some sort of it into ads. We're just gonna keep them in a spare tab, and we're just gonna keep finding. As you can see, just people like this, they all seem like dropshippers. This one's a bit low, but you could have a no final value fee option. Um, if we just go through, this could even be a dropshipper selling a bundle. Another thing you can keep an eye out is these types of. Uh, badges, top seller badges, any sort of badges in the corner also give you a sort of an idea that they are a drop shipper. So from that we're just going to have a look at these three and we're just going to take them into a new tab just to verify that hey these guys are actually drop shippers and they're not some dude selling Lego. So if we go to items from sale now for all three of them primarily looks like Lego so we could be wrong but we're just gonna go and have a look at their sold listings to make sure we're actually looking at sold items. So what we're gonna look for is just something uh, big. We take this title of this item, take it into Amazon, and we're just gonna search it up. And if this price is higher, so it costs 90 bucks to get it, and they're selling it for 112, so they're definitely drop shipping. And now you've just found yourself a account to snipe from. So what I typically like to do is just save the seller and you can go through and take whichever items you want. But again, let's run them back to, this is my first time selling on eBay or this is a brand new account. I do not want to waste my 40 listings on something that won't convert. So if we actually have a look at this item, it's only sold once. Now I don't know when he's listed it and that's when you're gonna have to use a third party tool. If you guys want a good tool, I recommend Zik Analytics. This is probably one of the best uh, eBay tools. I do not use any APIs or screw grid. Um, screw grid's good for tracking quantity and seeing if something goes out of stock. I personally don't use it. I don't use any drop shipping automated fulfillment tools because that all can result in flags and bans of your account. This is completely untouchable. It doesn't touch your account. It actually tracks other competitors accounts, shows you how much they're selling, what's selling. I actually have a video on this. If you click the screen now, it will actually take you to it. Have a look. In that video, I went and found several sellers that I didn't even know existed on the platform that were making over 20, 30, $40,000 a week. So it's an amazing platform um, and software to help you find sellers. So using this, if I actually just took their name and put it in, it would tell me all their top selling products and it makes it much easier, but it does cost money. So if we're saying we're starting with $0 budget as well, and I started with $0 budget and I made $1,000 with my first week. So it is doable without the tool. 
Um, typically, they're pretty low profit. I did, you know, we're trying to make a thousand dollars, so we don't really want to touch anything that's not going to make us a lot of money. So we might just avoid this seller for now, and we'll go to the next one. So this guy, jumping bricks. If we actually do the same thing, have a look at his sold, and we just got to confirm that this guy is a drop shipper. Two one three one eight is the code for that Lego. Uh, and it looks like it's out of stock on Amazon. So he might not be either drop shipping from Amazon or he might not be a drop shipper at all. Um, he does have this sort of AU seller and all this weird keywords in his title. I'm not really selling Lego, so I don't really know what they mean. But we'll have a look at the next one 75280. So this one isn't even on Amazon. So either he's not taking from Amazon or he's an actual. Lego reseller. I mean, his name is Jumping Brick, so it might be. So we might cross him out for now. Um, and I doubt this guy's drop shipping. So it's all right. We didn't find any real high profitable sellers yet, and that's why you just got to keep repeating the process. That was the first item we tested, so we're just going to keep testing it. Um, if we go to ooh, this, this one looks like a good one. Just going to copy and paste the exact title. We're not going to touch the title. We're not going to do anything. Just copy and paste the title. Cost fifty six dollars. Plus you get $7 off, so 50 bucks. Um, and as you can see, we found three guys already, minimum. We're just gonna take all three of them and repeat the same process of checking the account and making sure that they're selling. So these guys look like a pretty small, brand new account, but if they're doing a good profit, we are still gonna touch them. So we'll actually have a look at sold items. Uh, sold one today. Two, three, so about four yesterday. So it looks relatively brand new. Um, and if he's selling already items on a brand new account, that could give you an idea that these are profitable. The next guy looks like he's selling a lot more lower ticket items, but they all, but they all look like they are from Amazon. So we'll take this item for example. Uh, he sold fourteen. That's a good, it's a good sign so far. A lot of them are in the last month already. That was three in the last three days, two yesterday. So is he drop shipping though? It's 154, he's paying for it and it's a hundred bucks. So already he's making himself over about $35 profit. So just yesterday he made $70 profit just on this one item. That's an item I would snipe straight away without even thinking like, I mean, 30 bucks profit, and he sold two of them. This guy looks like he's good. He's got 10 sold. Sold a few in the last month. Um, we'll just make sure this is from Amazon, and he is making a profit. That's two things you got to make sure. So it cost him 150 and he's selling it for 200 Okay, so this guy is making about $50 profit, give or take, on this item as well. And again, he sold it yesterday. He must have a good day. He sold another one. So he must have done over about $200 profit minimum yesterday. So again, this is how you just find it. Already now you just take those items, um, have a look at these ones, maybe even this one he's making a decent amount of profit on. If you get it, it's 60 bucks, he sells it for and he's paying. Uh, looks like we'll actually have to find where it's from. So typically the title would be in the description. This is the keyword title. So he, looks like it's not even in stock. We'll double check. Okay, so it's out of stock. So he. Okay, so he better remove that item before someone buys it and he can't fulfill it. Um, we'll have a look at the next one. Okay, so selling it for 60 and he gets it for 43. Again, he's, got, he's making a good amount of profit. Um, he's aiming for at least the minimum of a, what it looks like $10 even on lower ticket items. And that's what you need. I think if you can find a seller like this, he's a small account as well, only 97 feedback. That's how you know that, hey, these guys with less feedback are still doing it. If I were to make a brand new account, this guy would be, you know, a guideline. I'll get a few products off him and 
just literally rinse and repeat the method I just taught you and you can scale to a thousand dollars in profit within your first week. I can guarantee you that you've even saw it here. This guy did a minimum of $200 profit just from two items yesterday. So it's completely doable. Um, and another way you can actually find similar sellers, you just take a title of one of their items, paste it into the search. Um, and it looks like he's the only one selling that. So that's good. He doesn't have any competition. So you can come in and directly undercut him. Um, and before the video ends, we'll just quickly have a look at the last seller that we found. Same thing, sold items. Um, we'll have a look at this one, bug salt. If he's selling it for 72, we're going to hope it's at least under 60 for some profit. I'm going to get rid of that keyword. We can know that he put that in there. Um, so it's about 60. So, you know, maybe about $5 profit. Not bad, but we want to aim for something better. We'll have a look at this one next. He gets it for 40 bucks, And we're in the electronics niche. Um, and it looks like this costs him $32. So he's again making about $4 profit. Not bad, but you want to aim for something better. If you're looking to just start off, I mean, these products are perfect. Lower ticket items, lower ticket items tend to sell quicker and easier, but they do have less profit. Doesn't mean higher ticket items that anything over a hundred bucks won't sell. I mean, you saw it just from the previous seller who sold four items that were all over $200 or close to $200 and he made $200 in profit. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some sort of value out of it. This is how I would approach starting a brand new eBay dropshipping account, how I would find products and sellers, um, build some feedback, build some selling record, get some customers, from there, then I would go and manually find items myself that I can make a good amount of profit on. As you can see, the, the guy before was finding items himself. So you can copy his method of finding items yourself, no competition and straight 20, 50, $40 profit. But just for starting off, you do not want to waste your 40 listings because unless you have the money to go and straight away buy a store, I mean, you can go and do that, but just getting products that can actually make you money like this will fund the amount to buy your store. And once you buy a store, you can start experimenting and doing product research on your own. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got some um, some value and some knowledge out of it. If you guys want more eBay dropshipping videos or just videos in general, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. I greatly appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And I'll see you